Hi guys, thanks for tuning in uh, and welcome to another uh, YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Um, since I posted the last time, uh, very, very much happened uh, due to the CNC controller build. Um, it's actually finished. I know in the last video I told you guys that I will take you with me or with the building process of the controller. But uh, it actually is pretty boring stuff because just watching me stripping wires and crimping on some uh, cable ends um, really doesn't make any sense. So I thought by myself I take you guys um, uh, on a little tour of the CNC controller which I built and explain uh, everything in detail on the CNC controller itself. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today and uh, let me know what you guys think about my build. Um, I think personally, personally, it really turned out really, really great. It's by far uh, the most professional looking controller I've ever built and I built a couple of them in the last past years. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you guys think down in the comments and uh, I'll take you off to the CC controller right now. So first of all, this is my um, actual setup that I got now. Um, you can see it's a CNC control panel, do it yourself, control panel as you want. Um, the screen is a touch screen, 21.5 inch, um, just so I don't have to use a mouse right here. Uh, I also mounted the e-stop and uh, the on and off switch of the CNC controller itself right here so I have it directly on my hands and this is the CNC control panel I've built the last couple of weeks um, I will post a picture of it um, in portrait mode so you guys can get a better idea of the whole build um, because the distance I have to film it right now. Uh, it's pretty short, so I can't get it all in frame. So yeah, this is the build. As you can see, I th I think <laughs> it's a pretty cool looking controller. Um, so let me explain where the power goes. Um, right here, the power comes in into this contactor and the red wire goes right here to the number one input of the AC reactor. It goes out back down here, right to this um, block. The blue wire uh, goes directly to the block and the ground wire from AC in goes directly on this block. And from those blocks, I go to those contactors or circuit breakers, then to those EMI noise filters the first ones. From there I go to those small contactors. Um, from there I run one blue wire and one red wire to each drive to the motor power and the second wire goes onto the small EMI filters and from there they go off to the logic power. It's also uh, 230 volts AC and uh, yeah, the, those uh, contactors get powered by 24 volts. This is wired to the uh, e-stop. So if I push the e-stop, those contactors will release and server drives all shut, up, uh, shut off uh, at the same time. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it for the servo power side. Um, right here is the CNC controller from Eating CNC uh, with a relay board, extension board and the UIO board, which I haven't wired up right now. Um, that's a future project. Um, what I got hooked up right here is the, um, the relay for my two probes or actually three of those relays are right, wired up and one is for the starting signal from uh, for the Renishaw probe um, 
I have to write a macro uh, if I do uh, 3D probing or touching off uh, with the Renishaw probe. But that's also a future project. And yeah, for the rest, those are all the signal wires for the servo drives. At the moment, right now, for the Z-axis, I have only this closed loop stepper because the big NEMA 34 um, servo with the brake on it just won't fit on my current machine. Um, this drive right here is getting powered by 48 volts. And yeah, also the um, eating CNC boards all get powered via this 24 volt um, DC power supply. And yeah, that's actually all it. Right here, I have all my limit switches and the probes and some relays for um, automatic tool change and spindle on. And what I actually have to wire up again, or I still have to wire up is the PWM signal for the spindle speed. But yeah, that's actually my whole build. I think it's pretty neat. So yeah, guys, that's um, my actual work, what I, what I did uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, really was time consume consuming, but I think it really was worth the time and um, everything works well. Uh, yeah. So now I have to start the CNC build and get this machine up and running and have a lot of fun with it and make some really nice chips. Um, also what I wanted to mention is uh, you saw the 21.5 inch touchscreen which I have mounted right now on my do-it-yourself control panel. But as you can see right here, this bad boy there, um, is going to replace it uh, because this is DMG Mori screen which I got from a community member um, so donations are going very 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 well uh, I really didn't expect this um, but I have to figure out how I can get this to work because this thing runs on a thin client and I really don't know what the IP address of it is because this isn't, um, or this just doesn't hook up uh, like a normal touchscreen monitor uh, or a touchscreen screen. Um, because it, it actually is a client, so you have to connect it via Ethernet cables or via one Ethernet cable. So if any one of you guys watching this video uh, has some experience with those kind of things, um, I really would appreciate your help um, because I really want to get this one here working with my CNC. This is just top notch guys. And I'm really, really, really excited about it. Um, the screen just works perfectly fine, but I just can't uh, configure it at the moment to run with my trusty Dell Optiplex. <laughs> so yeah, um, but this wraps up the video. If you guys, know what to do with this one please let me know in the comments or just uh, send me an email and we will get in, we'll get in contact and see if we can get this thing running because i really want to see this working with my cnc this is absolutely so cool stuff <laughs> i really didn't expect it but yeah that's how it goes uh, in the next couple of weeks i will start the build of the CNC and uh, yeah then this thing gets to the finish line so yeah thank you for watching and stay tuned for more